Christians like to say that evil cannot dwell in God's presence, and that gives support to the Levitical system and the doctrine of hell. However, how do we conceive of Satan's presence before God in the Old Testament? Or what about fallen, but not yet judged, council members? Well, you know, I, I have to admit that I'm not quite sure I understand the question. The, the idea, I'll, I'll just take a stab at it, though. The idea that evil cannot dwell in God's presence, I think, is more homiletical. It's more preaching than biblical in a certain sense. And what I mean by that is this. For example, God is omnipresent, right? Just a standard staple of theology proper, okay? the, the, who God is by his nature. God is omnipresent. So that means there's no place where he isn't. And so evil is in his presence pretty much all the time. <laughs> And the same is true in the spiritual world, since there's no part of that world off limits to God. You know, you're either omnipresent or you're not. And God is omnipresent. I mean, this is something that, that Scripture teaches, I think, pretty clearly. And so God, quote, coexists with fallen divine beings all of the time. So that's why I say this idea to me is more preaching than it is really careful thinking biblically. Now, I say all that to say that I'd have to know what verses for this idea that evil can't dwell in God's presence. You know, I'm not I'm not going to take a stab at specific verses. I know there are some that suggest some idea there like that, but I'd have to know what the specific verses are before venturing too much further. It, but you know, if if I were to throw caution to the wind for a minute, I would add again that a term like hell is an afterlife term. It's not a place with latitude and longitude. It's a place in the spiritual world, and God is a resident in the spiritual world, by definition. So that alone shows us that there's some sort of coexistence with other parts of the spiritual world and their inhabitants, because there is no place where God isn't. Consequently, again, I think that the point of any passage about God not wanting evil in his presence is really better understood as some teaching point or statement about defilement or the fact that God doesn't tolerate evil in the sense of ever approving of it. Now, the Levitical system was about teaching humans the difference between them and God. Again, that, that's pretty transparent. It was about teaching people about his otherness, or between you know, the difference between God's space and normal mundane space, sacred space versus you know, other space. Uh, I doubt if divine beings don't know that, that there's a difference. Uh, between where God is and where they are, or something like that. So I think there's a bit of a disconnect there too. But again, ca catch the main point. God is omnipresent. He is everywhere. There is no place where God isn't. And so in that sense, he is in the, quote, presence of evil and rebellious divine beings a lot. So that idea, you know, or that that theological reality that that is scriptural needs to have an impact on any verse that talks about God not liking evil in his presence. There, 